<laughs> hey guys, Jay Smith set back for another Pokemon card opening video. I hope you've enjoyed the last one, um, as I said the la in the last video. Uh, it was really good to be able to get my hands on the McDonald's Pokemon set because over here in Scotland, apparently McDonald's think it's acceptable to give us some random stuff when they've got a 25th anniversary Pokemon content going on over in America and probably anywhere else in the world to be fair. Um, so as you can see today guys, I'm going to be opening up the V tins, Mew, and I'm going to be opening up a random Pokeball. I'm not sure what series it came from, it was the last one in stock so I grabbed it while I could because stocks are very light um, currently around the, the superstores at the moment. So we're going to start off with the Pokeball, we're going to get into this and see what we've got and what packs I'm going to be opening. So, as I've been away from the YouTube game, so to speak, I've still been collecting cards. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Jay's Midset. Um, I normally upload five days a week different pictures, different Pokemon stuff that I own, content that I've seen. Um, things that I think you guys might like. Um, still active on Twitter. Um, I have taken over the JJMDC one. Uh, I've rebranded it to Jay's Midset. Um, and I can be found on Twitch as well, which I'm streaming through um, multiple games. Pokemon, um, Mario, Mario Content, Mario Kart, Mario Sunshine. Um, I'm really open to any games. Anything that you feel that would be beneficial. So, let's get into it now that I've got the, the Pokeball on, as you can see there. So, let's see what we've got. Hey, we've got Steam Siege. We've got Guardian Ryzen. And we've got Sun and Moon base set. And the coin that we got... It's a nice looking Tyranita, which, to be fair, isn't a coin I think I've got. And I didn't think I was going to be one for collecting the coins, but I've actually become partial to them since I've actually started playing the TCG online. Which again, if you want to add me on that, my name is, I guess she can guess it, Jay's Midset. So... We're going to start off with probably the most hated set, Steam Siege. So let's get into these and see where we are. <laughs> and with these cards, I always, always, always get the card trick wrong. So I'm going to go free from the back. And we're going to guess Psychic Energy. And we've got an Azumarill dual typed. Eh, it's actually a shiny Azumarill. Sorry, I'm underplaying this. This is actually a really nice looking card. We've got a Greedy Dice. Got a Drift Blimp. Got a Nose Pass. Lit Leo. Dino. Hop it. Litwig, Primeape, and a Shrift Tree. I do really like that card. Between that and the Zoom Arrow, Shiny. Quite like it. I do hope it's something that they bring back. Oh, and I've just realised that Shrift Tree is actually holographic. So, one holo count for tonight, so far, uh, we'll go for Sun and Moon base set. These aren't cards that I've collected much of, so I don't know what to expect from them. Um, you would think that playing the game, I would understand what's in each pack now. 
So let's have a look. One, two, three, four maybe. And we're going to go for psychic energy. If there's an energy in this. Oh, there is. And it's electric. Got a repel. Goba. Professor Cookie. Cuckooey. I don't know that's how to pronounce it. I just call him Cookie. Paris. Hero. Litten. Yangus. Surske. Oh. Dragon Knight. With a move called Giant Tail. I don't think his tail is that big though. And uh, beware. And as I would say, beware, because you're in for a scare. And there we go for Guardians Rising. And I got to say, I do love the Alolan Ninetales. Let's get into there. And again, I'm not sure of the card trick, so as I've just been doing today, I'm just going to wing each one of them. And hope for the best. One, two, three, and a four. And we're going to go for a psychic energy. Nope. But we're definitely on fire tonight. Hakamoa. Brickler Hill. Gliscor. Gotha. Chansey. Patil. I know that's not how it's pronounced. Patil. Helioloptile. Tentacle. And a little in Vulpix. And what do you think we've got at the back? Ooh, that's how it's done, guys. We are looking at a full art Como O GX. That is amazing. Again. Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon, Steam Siege. Some of the sets that I haven't had the luxury of collecting because I came into the card collecting roughly around about the time that it was Team Up. So I've got a lot of Team Up and a lot of Cosmic Eclipse as well as Sun and Moon, nope, sorry, that was the wrong one. Um, Sword and Shield base. And recently, I have started to collect Vivid Voltage. Um, Champion's Path, I've done a lot of Champion's Path while I was offline. Um, I still haven't pulled the shiny Charizard. But it's not for one for trying. Um... And what I think I'll do is I think I will get the best pulls from my recent packs and I might show them on the next video that we pull. So look at that. We have a Mew V10. Probably one of the, if not cutest, Pokemon. I know some of you will disagree. You know, your Victinis, your Shamans, and all these different types. But Mute is the original OG. When it comes to legendaries. And what I will say about these tins, I absolutely love the fact that they've done this. And out of the three tins, yep, the three tins. So I've got the Mew one, I've got the Lucario one last time. Um, and the next one I'm going to look at getting is the Galarian Slowbro. But trying to get a hold of them is fair near impossible. So let's have a look at how they've come. 
So we've got Zarud, Vivid Voltage, Celebi, Vivid Voltage, Sword and Shield, oh, and we've got an upside down breakpoint. So I think we're going to go from oldest to newest. So we'll start with breakpoint. Again, another pack that I haven't got much of. I will collect where and if I can, because I like some of the art that I've seen and some of the packs that I've opened. So let's have a look. So we're uh, X and Y. So one, two, three, I believe. And if there is any energy, fire. Nope, so it's a potion. We got a Lapras, the Blade, Glamiao, Gibble, Chikorita, confused because he's looking into a mirror and seeing Fennekin, Timpo, Spritzy, the happiest looking Corsola I've ever seen in my life, and a Meow Stick. Very menacing looking meow stick. So, again, artwork, love it. And now we're moving on to Sword and Shield. And so far, in the last video, I got a decent pull, the more Pico V, which was a card that I haven't actually pulled yet. Get into this pack now, and this is where I feel comfortable because I now know that we do have actual energies in these cards. So I am going to go for the darkness energy. It's psychic. I knew I was going to say that. We've got energy switch, Doppler, Galarian Stungfisk, Mencino. Galarian Ponyta, Cotney, Scorbunny, Silly Cobra, a Salizopede, and for the final card, a Tartanator. Good thing about this is, although it's a non hollow and it is non V, etc., I've not actually got this card, so. It's a nice little collector's edition for me. Right, so recently from my Lucario tin, Vivid Voltage seems to be where I'm getting my best luck from. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get some of the pills I did last time. I'm going to go with the Sarut card first. Crabbit looking monkey guy. Is he an ape or a monkey? What do you think, guys? I don't know. I'll wait until the movie comes out so I can actually figure out what he is. One, two, three, and a four. And we're going to go for a... Uh, Water energy. Oops, it's coming back a swinging, it's fighting. We got a Ferrothorn. Got a Dusclops. Ooh, we got a Rocky Helmet. Sandale. We got a Wilmer. We got a Wheel. Beldum. Fanfy. Kakuna. And. Ooh, we got a Holographic Shaman. Again, a lot of these are still fairly new to me because I've not actually been able to get my hands on the cards due to the people that are in there before me spending all their money. Which, don't get me wrong, it's great that they do it because it's good for Pokemon because they're seeing that their people are buying it. But the bad thing for us is can't get our hands on it. So content becomes slack. <laughs> Oh, 
one, two, three, and a four, and we're going to go for grass energy. Uh, we're darkness. We're giraffe egg. Electric. Delmise. Fine go. Clefairy. Dimple. Milkery. Clarion Mouth. Mudsdale. And the last card of the night is a non hollow Flareon. Ah, well, you know, it's all part of the chase, guys. Whether we pull a full RGX or whether we pull a non holographic Flareon, it's all part of the chase and we love it. That's why we keep coming back and torturing ourselves and their wallets, to be fair. Um, but what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to leave it there. Um, J Medset is back and we're going to be pushing on. So if you're looking to follow me, again, as I mentioned at the start, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, both at J's Midset. You can also find me on Twitch at J's Midset. And there's a running theme here. J's Midset, across the board, you'll be able to find me Twitch, YouTube, Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'm quick to respond. Um, I'm always happy to answer any questions that you may have about cards, toys, games, anything. Reach out to me and I'll help you out where I can, guys. But once again, thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.